everyone. Today we're going to do a flip through and first impressions on Dame Darcy's Queen Alice Tarot. As usual with any indie decks that I get, I will leave a link to where I purchased them in the description down below. So don't forget to check it out if you're interested in purchasing this deck. Oh my god, look at this inside of the box though. This is so pretty. By the way, this is a nice matte sort of rose petal touch to it. This is the inside. It's really pretty. And I did not expect this deck to be gilded, but it has a silver gilded edges. It's a glossy finish. I kind of wish it was matte, just like the box, but oh well. These are the bags. Reversible. Oh, oh, I guess this is an extra card. DaneDarson.com. All right, let's get to this flip through. This is the full card. If you guys saw my um, haul video, I think when I first opened this deck, I thought like there was actually a hole in the card. I was like, what is this? But no, that's part of the image here. She's like gonna go diving up in that hole too. That the bunny's like, girl, what the fuck are you doing? The emperor. Wait, is this in order? Um, okay. Well, it is not in order, so we're just gonna go with how the deck came. <laughs> the emperor. It's a first impression, so our first impression is why is this deck not in order? There you go. I hate me. The artwork is really interesting. <laughs> it's Humpty Dumpty for the tally. And Judgment, you got the big old bunny here with the horn. The Magician, we have, I think this is the Cheshire Cat, which is also on the inside of the box. The Hierophant, it's the Caterpillar. Oh look, there's Alice. Oh crap, there's a big ass Alice there too. Whoa. The Hermit, I believe it's the same Caterpillar. <laughs> In their robes. <laughs> The Death Card. Did they fall off the horse? Is that what we're seeing? It looks like they fell off the horse. Landed on their face. The star. Oh, I like the rainbows that's around her. That's pretty. The world. High Priestess. I love that the text on the cards also seem to be hand-drawn. That's really cool. Instead of like your usual typed text for each card, like we're used to seeing. I mean, at least to me, it looks like it's hand-drawn. It could be a font, but to me, it looks like it's all hand-drawn. The moon. <laughs> He's got a little fan on him. There's turtles. Oh my god. This turtle is about to hit that turtle with another... Is this a crab? It kind of looks like a shrimp, but what? <laughs> Why? Why are you about to hit him? The Empress. We got Alice looking all crazy here. At least I think that's Alice. The Chariot. Whoa, this is a cool looking griffin back there. This is Justice. Now, why? I'm just gonna say it. Why do you look high? Hmm? Hmm, what you been doing? You look so happy, too. <laughs> the Devil. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. The Sun card. Now, I noticed on some of the cards, you see Dame Darcy's signature, but not on all of them. I wonder why that is. 
or unless she's just <clears throat> doing her like DD, double Ds, you know? On one of the cards though, I, like her full name was written out. See like this one, D Darcy. I mean, it could be because like when she was creating the artwork, she was figuring out how to do her signature, which is a thing obviously with us artists, you know? Three of Wands. Four of Wands. Who's this? Is this um the Queen of Hearts here? Oh, you got the flowers for the Queen of Hearts too. Five of Wands. Well, this is freaky. Big ass hand here trying to reach for the rabbit who looks scared. Six of Wands. This is kind of hard to see. The Six of. You can see the Wands, but the Six of text is hard to see. If if the text was all like this and that would work, you'd be able to see it clearly, but this is kind of hard to see. Seven of Wands. Serpent. Oh, she is. What? What? Wait. This looks like. Uh, it kind of looks like a serpent and her body is, or not her body, her head is on a body of a serpent, but this can also be like smoke or something. Eight of Wands. I love the roses all up in here. That's pretty. The Nine of Wands. You have a unicorn and a lion duking it out. Of wands. Well, is this the Queen of Hearts? It looks scary as heck. With the pig baby. There's a treasure can. Oh, there's Alice behind the wands. Ooh, she's like all up around wands that have thorns. Be careful, girl. Page of wands. Is that a booby? It looks like a puppy. A scared puppy. Knight of wands. Uh, why is a horse riding a horse? I mean, not that way. You know what I mean? <laughs> you nasty. Queen of Wands. Ooh, I like your dress. So is this, so then who's this? Unless this is the Queen of Hearts and maybe when she gets mad, she turns to the other form. King of Wands. Scared King of Wands. Now we're on the Ace of Cups. Ooh, look at all these sweets. Two of Cups. You got a frog there and Alice. Three of Cups. Um, I don't know what this is, but that looks like a body of a turtle. The griffin right here. They're just chilling. Spilling the tea, you know? Four of Cups. This is cool. It's like when she dove in that hole in the Fool card and now she's fallen. But she's just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Five of Cups. She's like, fuck this shit. Tearing all this up. Six of Cups. Oh, so then that might be her mother or caretaker, which kind of looks like the other Queen of Hearts lady that we saw. Seven of Cups. Ooh, look at these rainbows. Eight of Cups. This is cool. I like how the rainbow, at least right here with her hand, how it's touching the surface. It's like when she touches it, a rainbow aura comes out. That's pretty cool. Nine of Cups. Uh, whoa, buddy. You need to comb your hair, buddy. <laughs> You've had too much coffee. <laughs> Even though they're probably having tea. Oh, look, it's the mouse. It's a big ass mouse. Hey, it's a flamingo. There's a lot of stuff in here. The Mad Hatter looks kind of worried. 
She looks kind of mad. Whoa, look at this Ten of Cups. There's so much in here. Oh, it's the flowers. Look at all their faces. You look a little mischievous right there. That's so cool. There's a bee. I see a bee butt. Page of Cups. Again, with these pretty rainbows. I love it. Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. I like her dress. Whoa. Mad Hatter looks kind of creepy right here. Look at her face though. Having a little too much coffee. Now we're on the swords, Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. I think this is when she like grew inside the building maybe, just because how her head is right here, kind of like she's hitting the top. Do you know what I mean, Jelly Beans? Three of Swords. Oh, here's the evil Queen of Hearts lady. Ouch. I like the lightning that's coming out of the cloud here in the same movement where she's directing her voice and pointing, like directing her energy. Dash cool. Four of swords. Um, did you fall off your horse or are you sleeping? <laughs> the way their legs are angled makes me think like they fell or something. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. Oh, that's cute. They're knitting or crocheting. What's the difference from knitting and crocheting? Random question, but I, I, I'm just curious. Is it like the tech, the technique? I don't knit um, or crochet, so I'm just curious. If any of you guys do, either or, let me know in the comments down below. Seven of Swords, got the Cheshire Cat being all sneaky, sneaky, staring at her. Oh, man, these swords better not fall. Ouch. Whoa, Eight of Swords. Oh, her dress is all torn up. And it kind of looks like she's been crying, too. I like how it's telling obviously it's telling the story of Alice in Wonderland but I'm curious about this character like what was she through to look like this now you know what I mean this is nine of swords it's Humpty Dumpty ten of swords oh he's all busted up look he's he's crying well tears tears of an egg his yoke? His yoke is spilling. That sounds kind of nasty. I'm sorry. Oh, there's blood too. Oh my god. Oh, you're a fish? What the hell? Sorry. <laughs> so random. Whoa. What is this? It's like a bat fish with weird... I don't know what you are, but that's cool. Page of Swords. Oh, is that Alice about to kick ass? That's cool. Knight of Swords. That knight looks a little creepy, not gonna lie. Queen of Swords. Mmm, cake. Why are you crying, though? King of Swords. Now we're on the Pentacles. Big old booty up in the air. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, cool. Look, you can, she's looking through the door in there. Two of Pentacles. This is cool. When she's when she goes in the mirror. In the other world, I guess. Speaking of random story, have you guys ever, as a child, done this where you look at yourself in the mirror, and you see or even think that there's another world behind there, and you're trying to get through? I did it. I'm just wondering if any of you guys have. It's just something weird that I did growing up. 
I've probably mentioned it or talk about it more when I do story time videos. Three of Pentacles. You got a fish person there, some flipper feet, and a frog with flipper feet. Four of Pentacles. Look at that mustache. Are those your feet? The Pentacles? Hmm. Five of Pentacles. Oh man, look at Alice's eyes. It's just emptiness right there. It's freaky, but cool at the same time. Freaky cool? It's freaky cool. Six of Pentacles. You got the dodo. I'm giving her some bling bling. Seven of Pentacles. Um, I see little feet. Oh, these are the oysters. Look, they're holding hands here. That's cute. I think, again, with the seven of here, the text should have been different because it's a bit difficult to see that. Like, the pentacle stands up, but the seven of, not so much. But at least you got, like, the solid number here. Eight of pentacles. Also just to, I guess, keep up with the theme to keep all of the text that way, or font. Does that make sense? Um, this is Ten of Pentacles. Oh, Porcupine. That's cute. Oh, she's holding a flamingo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Again, Queen of Hearts, but she looks more calm. You know what I mean? I like her hairdo. It kind of looks like horns. Uh, this is Page of Pentacles. Oh, I like what you did here. The same P you used for the page and then the same P you used for the Pentacles. That's cool. Creative. I like it. Knight of Pentacles. I like how the knights are horses, sometimes riding horses too. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, this is a pretty queen with long flowing hair. What are you holding? It's like a weird, it's a triangle, but it, for some reason I thought aliens. What is that? Oh my God, your shoes. Have y'all ever seen those boots with the like, I'll put a picture on here, but they got popular in Mexico. <laughs> um, I think when they first came out, I don't remember, this was a few years ago, but I remember seeing it for the first time and I was like, what the heck? Can you imagine kicking someone with that? King of Pentacles. I like the purples here. That's pretty. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Oh, good stain, Darcy. Okay, well, I don't need this. I'm gonna throw this out. Not sure why this is in here. I don't want a picture of you. <laughs> so you get two extra cards in here. I'm just gonna throw these out. This is your normal tarot size. Um, the cardstock is a bit thick, so I can't hold all of the cards, you know, not all of them here. But because it's normal tarot size, it's gonna shuffle really nice overhand. Um, as far as riffling, let's see. I can't do bridge shuffle. I'm not, I'm not that good riffling barely, but. All right, that's not that bad. It does feel a bit weird with the this type of gilding though. I'm not a fan of the this type. Now, hmm, let's see. Would this be beginner, intermediate, or expert? Well, the artwork and the depiction of the RWS cards, like in each of the cards, is roughly about the same so it is like a sort of you know like a direct clone except as in um, the world of Alice because of that I feel like this would be a pretty good for beginners it wouldn't be as confusing for beginners so because it's 
essentially good for beginners. It would be good for all levels. That's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions for me that I have not answered already. And again, the link to where I purchased the deck would be in the description. I got it on Etsy, on her Etsy. So I'll leave that in the, in the description. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!